Hi everyone, welcome to this new episode on Microsoft Fabric and Azure Data Integration. This is going to be a follow-up to the last video on how to read, append and convert multiple sets of files to package file using Azure Data Factory. In this new episode, I'm going to show you how to use the SQL copy into statements to read the package file from the Azure Data Lake Storage Gen tool to Fabric Warehouse directly. In addition, I'm going to show you how to transform the data using the insert into SQL statement. So let's get started. I'm going to come to the portal.azure.com and in the last video, we saw how we can append all of these sales server files as a single packet file using the Azure Data Factory. I'm going to come to the app.powerbi.com and of course I've got this demo WH1 we have created and I'm going to click on this state SQL and let's come to my GitHub. I want to copy this create table SQL script, Ctrl V to paste. So I'm going to have this create table named sales data. So I'm going to just get rid of this part and I'm going to have the year region subcategory product price quantity and sales column and we're going to have the varchar data types all true why because the data stored in the packet file have been treated as string data types so it is essentially will match that with the varchar in the sql script let's go ahead and create and run this this succeeded in five seconds plus cool now i can create a new sql and i want to go ahead and copy the data into my fabric warehouse directly and to do that i'm going to use the copy into statement and i'm going to provide the name of my table which is going to be sales data and then it's going to be coming from the azure data lake storage and tool container so inside a single code i'm going to go ahead and copy the blob url so this is my packet file i can click on that and then click on this copy url come back and inside a single code Ctrl V and press enter. So I'm going to use the width clause. Now in the width clause, I can provide the file type. So the file type is going to be equal to inside the single code per key file. So I can close that up. Now, if you're reading data, that is the JavaScript object notation file, it's going to be JSON file. If it's a CSV file, it's going to be CSV. But we are actually reading the packet file, so it's going to be packet file type type. So I can go ahead and run this script okay succeeded this is absolutely cool now let's create a new sql query and then perform a select star from sales data and let's go ahead and run the script you can see we've got 441 rows and seven columns so we have the year region subcategory to the sales now we want to actually transform this price quantity and this sales including the year from the varchar to integer data type how do i do that i'm going to come here and just copy this um, script let me just copy all of these and i'm going to paste ctrl v so i'm going to call this one sales data new and i can go on and delete this and use the int data type and then for the price i'm going to do the same thing integer and for the quantity it's going to be integer and for the sales integer so i can go ahead and create this new table so click on run so we're gonna have two tables created so let me expand and let me expand okay there we go so we have the sales data name so i can go ahead and use the insert into statement so i'm going to create a new sql query and i'm going to say hey insert into the sales data mail and i'm going to specify the name of my columns so first i'm going to have the year column followed by the region followed by the sub category and i think okay, let me just copy all of these and ctrl x to cut and let's do it here so let me just move this down a little bit so we have the um, year region subcategory product okay so i'm going to type in product comma and it's going to be price quantity and then the sales so it is really important we have the same number of columns and the same spelling with 
case sensitivity taken into consideration. So you have the insert into sales data new, and then we have the year, region, subcategory, product, price. Okay, this is price, and then quantity sales. So now I'm going to go ahead and perform a select staff. So I'm going to select all the rows from the old sales data. So I'm going to just drag this here. Okay, that's what I need to do. I can go on and select and run the query and let's see the result. So there we go, this succeeded. Now I can go back and query this new sales data. So let's go ahead and select star from sales data new and let's go ahead and run this script. And there we go. So okay i'm going to go back and refresh this because i can't see any rows for now so this one of the little functionality issues in the fabric so i can't see anything click on this refresh and i'm going to go back and execute the same query and i'm going to see all the new rows including the data types so i'm going to scroll down and then go ahead and run the script again and there we go so i'm going to see the 441 rows and in this case i'm going to have the year as integer the price quantity sales as integer which is absolutely important now i can go on and check this out because our data is coming from the 2015 to 2023 so i want to perform a select and i want to take the year column comma and i want to use the sum function on top of the sales column and i'm going to call this one total sales and this is going to be coming from the sales data nail and i can use the group by clause on top of the year column and i'm going to order by the year column okay so let's go ahead and run this and let's see the results Okay, oh, this an incorrect spelling. Let me check this out. Okay, yeah, okay, so I've seen that. Okay, so run and let's see the solution. Okay, so we're gonna see the 2015 to the 2020 total sales, exactly the same number of files we have in the Azure blob container here. So this is absolutely working fine. So what I need to do finally is to go ahead and drop this table so that we don't have to duplicate in the text i'm going to drop this sales data so i can come here put in a semicolon and perform the drop table sales data that contains the varka or true so run this and then i can refresh this and there we go so we're going to have the sales data new that contains the integer and then the variable character the string so this is how we can use the sql to perform copy into and insert into from the packet file to the fabric warehouse i trust you this video if you do like share with your friends comment and follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now